um, we go to go karting, which he like started racing, and then I went along to help. And um, my dad is teaching me to drive now because when you turn 16, you can get your learner's permit, and so he's been teaching me to drive because my mum's too scared to drive with me. Um, and my dad also rides his bike at least two times a week with his friends and they go for at least 40 kilometre bike rides as well, so yeah. Um, my mum is, my mum's name is Cassandra, or people just call her Cassie. Um, she works in a florist kiosk, kiosk um, in a shopping centre which she manages. My mum also runs her own business from home. Um, she goes to conferences in Perth three times a year to um, continue to um, learn more um, floral abilities. So um, creating um, bouquets and flower arrangements. Um, I, love, I go to my mum's shop quite often to help um, during their busy periods, so Valentine's Day I work, um, Mother's Day I work, like all the busy days considered for a florist. Um, my mum also plays and coaches netball, so netball is a sport that my mum, my sister and I do, so that's kind of like the girls thing in the family that we all do. And um, last year my mum's team that she plays in won the grand final so that was really good because I think it was like one of her first grand finals that she won um, and she was really happy with that. Um, my mum loves to stay at home and loves to sleep in so on Sundays she actually sleeps in till about 10 o'clock in the morning, 10, 11 because she's really tired so that's what she likes to do. Um, she also likes to eat chocolate and watch TV, as all most people do, like the girls. Um, my sister's name is Abby, and she is 14 years old, and she's very annoying. Um, she always steals my clothes and like clothes and. Um, all my stuff that I use on a daily basis and she also enters my room without asking which is really annoying because it has like my stuff in there. Um, Abby goes to the same school as me and starts year 10 this year. Um, she has a lot of things. Um, she loves horse riding so she has her own horse at home and his name is Boris but he looks like a donkey, so <laughs> most people call him a donkey. Um, my sister also plays netball, but we're in different teams, so we don't get to see each other play our games um, because we play in the, the same time slots. Um, we have a love-hate relationship, so sometimes we're nice to each other and then other times we don't talk to each other at all because we would have had like a really big argument. But when we're not arguing, we tell each other pretty much everything. Um, and I'm always like, she always comes to me and asks me about something. So like ask me if she has a problem, like what to do about it. Um, my sister is a very social person, so she's always like messaging her friends or Skyping or FaceTiming them. Um, and she's always at her friends' houses on the weekends and holidays. So when we have holidays, which is four times a year, um, I kind of I don't really see my sister at all because she's always at her friends' house or they're at our house and they stay in her bedroom. Um, I am 16 and I'm a full-time student and casual worker. I attend school five days a week and work in a Chinese restaurant for, um, work in a Chinese restaurant two nights a week and I also on some occasions work in the florist that my mum works in. Um, this year I finished high school 
and I graduate. So after school, I don't know what I wanted to do. Um, when I was younger, I always said I was going to become a primary school teacher and teach little kids, but I don't know if I want to do that anymore, but I still have like n n this year to think about it. Um, but after school, I would like to go on a holiday um, and maybe travel the world. Um, I do play netball throughout the whole year and netball is a very um, physical and demanding sport. Um, you often get injured or hurt yourself, which is very common. And one game I was playing the first game back of a season and one of the girls who was playing on one of the courts next to me actually broke her leg or broke her knee or something like that. Um, and so she was out the rest of the season and had to wait a whole year to go back to playing sport, which would have sucked because a lot of the girls at my netball association live for netball. Um, and then in my spare time, I love to um, go to my group art club and help out, um, go to the gym, read books I love to read. Um, I love to watch movies and cook sweets. Um, I love to go for walks and go on holidays because in, in Perth, where I live, to get to a really sunny place and warm weather, like all throughout the whole year, is about a 13 hour drive. Um, and it's really pretty there and it's like Queens, it's sort of like Queensland and the Great Barrier Reef where um, it's like the ocean and like the fish and all like that kind of thing. And in, in Perth it's called Ningaloo or Coral Bay. Um, and I went there for my year nine camp, which was really amazing. Um, in, I live in Western Australia, but I'm originally from New South Wales. I lived in Victoria for nearly half of my life. Um, in Western Australia, I live in Byford, which is about 45 minutes from the Perth CBD, so like the Perth city. And I live about 40 minutes from the nearest beach in either Rockingham or Mandra. Um, Byford is a small country suburb which has a main road which passes through the middle. I live on one of the main streets in Byford, Clifton Street. On my street there is the town hall, a local playground, the local primary, one of the local primary schools, two churches, the doctor's surgery and the vet. Um, there is not a lot of shops in my suburb, but there is um, a supermarket, hairdressers, bottle o pub. A bottle o is like an um, alcohol store for the parents. Um, the news agents, a bank, and so on. Um, there is public transport in my suburb, but only buses and a bus that takes you to Mundijong, which is another country town 10 minutes away from us, or it takes you to Armidale, which is um, a more urbanised area which has a shopping centre with um, more of the like, popular shops and clothing stores. Um, in Armidale, you can go, you can catch a train where the train station is, and that takes you to Perth City as well. Um, in Perth, there are many nice places to visit. One of my favourite places is Kings Park, the Botanical Gardens. Um, in Kings Park, there's like many different sections, and my favourite is um, a lookout over Perth City, over like the city. So in the evening and during the day, you get um, really stunning views of um, the city because you. You see all like the um, skyscraper buildings and you get to see like the cars coming in and out of the city as well. Um, there's a new kids discovery area, so like a play area for the kids and activities that they get to do. Um, 
King's Park is very popular among all of the people living in Western Australia. Um, and another thing that I love to do in Perth is go to the arena and my dad and I go to the basketball games there and when there's a basketball game um, near the arena all you can see is red because everyone wears red because um, the team that is in Perth is Perth Wildcats and they are red, white and black coloured so many of the people wear the um, red shirts and playing jerseys. Um, in Italy, I live in Silvi and to me Silvi is a lot like my suburb in Australia. Silvi is a small town with one main road and a small amount of different shops. Um, Silvi is located right near the sea and my apartment backs on right like to the sea so on my balcony um, you can see like all the sunsets and sunrise. In Sylvie my home is an apartment split on two levels so on the first level there's the kitchen, living room, um, two bedrooms and a bathroom and then downstairs we have um, two bedrooms and a bathroom. Um, in Italy, my home is very different to Australia because in Australia we have um, four bedrooms but they're like really big bedrooms compared to in Italy um, and one of the bedrooms we have actually has um, five, it sleeps like five or six people because we have like um, two sets of bunk beds but one night sleeps three or four people. Um, and also my home in Australia has like a, um, a big garden out the back and we also have a pool as well, so that's good for the summer weather. Um, most of my time in Italy has been spent in Pescara, so I leave home at 7.15 in the morning to catch the train. Um, I am in Pescara um, nearly every day of the week and I love <coughs> Pescara like just walking through the, um, the city centre because the buildings are very pretty and um, in the evening it's nice when the Christmas lights are lit above you and you get to like walk through and yeah, because in Australia we don't do that in the city. Um, I like the nightlife in Italy because many people go out in the evenings and it's really nice to just see everyone and they're like happy and just talking and walking around. Um, my favourite thing in Pescara was um, in the evening at the ice rink and there was a um, like concert with um, a little girl and they were like singing carols. Um, that they were like really cute, so I loved listening to them. Um, I visited Rome and stayed in an apartment there. Um, in Rome I got to see some of the sites, but one day I hope to return so I can explore it a little better. Um, I have also visited Saint Ephema, I don't know how to say it, and Maella. Um, here it was snowing and the place was surrounded by mountains, which that was really pretty. Um, and I have also visited um, Chita San Angelo a lot as my family, um, some of my family live there. And I love the views that um, Chita San Angelo offers, and especially at sunset. Um, Italian school is very different to Australia. In Italy, you are in one class for your whole high school. Um, the teachers come to you and you don't get to choose your subjects and you go to school six days a week and you finish school at 12.15 or 1.15. Um, I'm not sure which schooling I prefer, but I do love in Italy that you keep the same class all through high school as you are able to become very good friends with your classmates 
and you will all be going through the same thing so you can help each other when needed. Um, I love my Italian classmates because they are very welcoming and kind. My classmates are nice and they bought me a gift for Christmas which was very beautiful. Um, my classmates are full of personality and I love that about everyone. Um, I look forward to coming to school because you don't know who is going to be here and depending on who is at school depends on how the class behaves. Um, and I've learned a lot of my Italian classmates and I will be sad to leave them when the time comes. Um, my experience in Italy has been amazing. I have loved my time here and the things that I was able to do whilst I was here. The experience has been one that I will remember for the rest of my life and I have some good friends that will, I will hopefully, hopefully keep in contact with when I return to Australia. This has opened my eyes to a lot more about my life in Australia. I'm going to miss Italy a lot, but one day I hope to return and visit some more beautiful places.